Okay, you guys, so as you learn, um, you know, how to trade these 3x ETFs on KuCoin, I just want to show you what I kind of look for so you guys can teach yourselves and kind of figure it out. So, um, like I pointed out before, the SPY, um, which is over here, the S&P, has this um, essentially setting up this bull trap, meaning it came out of this pattern here broke out of that pattern and now it's setting up at a new level of support and resistance and we can see today that the uh, SPY is up right and so what I was pointing out is that Bitcoin people have caught on to this idea that Bitcoin trades along with the S&P and I said earlier in the week that um, that line is actually still there from that video that the that Bitcoin's price has started to diverge. I was talking about why wouldn't Bitcoin be trading up here, right? It should be trading up there if it is correlated with the SPY because the SPY is in a new range, okay? So there's a divergence here and um, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So, you know, when I look for a, um, a little short play you know like a daily you have to understand the time frame that you want to be in i go over to my uh etf list and i start to scroll through and what caught my eye is phantom so phantom if you look at it is diverging from bitcoin phantoms up today so they might have had news or something like that and they already moved by seven percent and they're coming into this range here this double bar this little range here so i thought well maybe maybe not let's keep looking and so you notice everything's down so i'm kind of looking for this anomaly you know what's an what's what's a coin that's trading up um you can see sushi's a little up even though bitcoin's down that's interesting why is that happening so that's some of the thought process as i came down i look at uh axie and i think well this is interesting this pattern here and you know you have this kind of uptrend that's kind of cool and so i'm not looking for something to take a lot of risk on but just to take advantage of an opportunity and so um you know just for today or tomorrow how might this play out and so um then what i do is i get the magnifying glass so get your magnifying glass and zoom in and I can see this range here. And like I was saying before, if you're in an uptrend, right? If we're in this uptrend, maybe we come into this support, right? So I might place an order right around that, that range there, okay? And um, so I might place an order here. And the idea is, um, to catch this horizontal support and then i'm gonna i'm going not to hold this wrong and i'm not going to get greedy i'm just going to say okay based on this pattern we have two places so that um we could take profit all right you could be around there or you could hold out for here so one of the things you can do is you can um let's say we enter here you know 16 percent. that's good that beats the s p that beats um you know if you're trading abby vi or one of these pharmaceutical companies and then you've got uh 2384 so those are those are good potential uh plays right there right so that's where I would set my take profits, right? And then what you're gonna do is you don't wanna lose money. So you're gonna set a stop loss. What I do is I set a stop loss and I'll say to myself, depending on the pattern. So I don't like it if it, if it starts to break below this line here, that's where I, I start to be, say, hey, we're breaking this uptrend. I wanna get out. So anyway, that's just real quick on, you know, what I'm looking for as far as a short term, you know, 
take advantage of the opportunity. Look for the anomaly, what's behaving differently than, um, than Bitcoin, you know, and then kind of look for some percentages and your patterns and stuff like that. So anyway, hope it helps.